Hello students. Today we are going to consider the chapter number five lines and angles. The remaining questions from exercise five point one. We had considered up to question number five. That link already shared. You can see that link. Now here we are going to start the next question, which is question number six regarding the exercise five point one. And all the concept again we are going to use are complementary, supplementary, adjacent angles. Then Uh, linear pair and then <clears throat> the last one is vertically opposite angles all those concepts we are going to use here now here the first question is like this two angles are supplementary these two angles are given in the image angle 1 and angle 2 these are supplementary angles that means their sum is 180 degree and they had asked if angle 1 is decreased what changes should take place in angle 2 so that both angles still remain supplementary so they should be remain supplementary that means their addition should be 180 degree that should not change so therefore if we increase or if we decrease the angle 1 by certain amount suppose we are going to say that 10 degrees i am going to decrease that angle 1 by 10 degree then angle 2 should be increased by same degrees that is 10 degree so that they will remain the supplementary so they will still remain the supplementary this is the first uh, answer that means this is the answer for question number 6 that means if angle 1 is decreased angle 2 should be increased by the same amount now the next question is question number 7 is can two angles be supplementary if both of them are now they had given some conditions and we have to find out whether these two angles are supplementary or not that means is their addition is 180 degree or not if that addition is less than 180 degree they are not supplementary if their addition is greater than 180 degree again they are not supplementary so that only we have to decide so condition is like this first condition is both angles are acute so can these angles are supplementary if both angles are acute obviously no because acute angle means less than 90 degree and if we add both acute angles which are less than 90 degree then obviously their addition is going to be less than 180 degree thus the two acute angles cannot be supplementary angles thus two acute angles cannot be supplementary angles the next pair is obtuse angle pair if both angles are obtuse again no they are not supplementary because obtuse angle means greater than 90 degree and if both the angles are greater than 90 degree then their addition is definitely going to be greater than 180 degree so it is not going to exactly 180 degree thus the two obtuse angles cannot be supplementary angles then third pair is right angles right angles means their measure is exactly 90 degree so if we add two right angles that means 90 degree plus 90 degree then it is exactly 180 degree so therefore we can say that two right angles are supplementary angles in this way the question number 7 is there now next question number 8 is an angle is greater than 45 degree is its complementary angle greater than 45 degree greater than 45 degree or equal to 45 degree or less than 45 degree so complementary angles are there so complementary means their addition should be uh 90 degree so suppose major of given angle is greater than 45 degree if the given angle is greater than 45 degree then obviously its complementary angle will be less than 45 degree obviously it is going to be less than 45 degree otherwise they are not complementary then question number 9 is in the adjoining figure that means you have to find out some answers from the figure so total six questions are there so first question is is angle 1 is adjacent to the angle 2 so here we have to consider the adjacent angle concept adjacent angle means they have common arm and non common arms are on either side of the common arm so here you can see that angle 1 means angle aoc angle aoc and angle 2 means angle coe both having the common arm oc and here opposite 
that means the non common arms are present on either side of oc ao is present on the left side oe is present on the right side and they having the common vertex o so that's why those are adjacent angles the next one is is angle aoc is adjacent to the angle aoe here is angle aoc is adjacent to the angle aoe so here see the angles aoc and aoe so they are not adjacent they are not adjacent because the non common side is not present on either side of the common arm you can see that uh, aoc uh, this is the first angle and second one is aoe for which ao is the common arm and oc and oe are present on the right side of the common arm so it is not adjacent then next pair is angle coe and angle eod form a linear pair do these two angles are forming the linear pair or not angle coe and angle eod form a linear pair so see the angles here angle coe and angle eod now first thing is that these are adjacent angles and if you consider the non common arms od and oc they are directed oppositely they are opposite to each other and this is the property for linear pair so yes these two angles forms a linear pair because non common arms are opposite to each other next one is r angle bod and angle doa supplementary they are asking the question yes or no are these two angles are supplementary how to identify the supplementary angle if their addition is 180 degree or if those two angles are forming the linear pair then they are supplementary because the property is there the two angles which forming a linear pair they are always supplementary always word is there so they are always supplementary so angle bod and angle doa that should be fine so angle bod we are finding the angle bod in the question in the diagram this angle number 4 is there then angle doa angle number 5 is there so they are actually adjacent angles and their non common arms are directed oppositely so yes they are supplementary because their addition is 180 degree they are forming a linear pair so that's why they are supplementary is angle 1 is vertically opposite to angle 4 so here you can see that line ab and line cd they are intersecting each other and when two lines are intersecting each other then uh, vertically opposite angles are obtained so yes angle 1 and angle 4 they are vertically opposite angles what is the vertically opposite angle to the angle 5 so here 1 and 4 is the first pair which are vertically opposite then secondly angle 5 and angle 2 plus 3 combiningly are vertically opposite so angle 2 plus 3 these should be combined and they are opposite to the angle 5 so therefore vertically opposite angle of angle 5 is angle 2 plus angle 3 that is angle boc is the vertically opposite angle for angle number 5 that means angle aod in this way question number 9 is there then next is question number 10 indicate which pairs of angles are vertically opposite angles and linear pairs so here vertically opposite angles are actually angle 1 and angle 4 they are the vertically opposite angles then similarly angle 5 and angle 2 plus 3 they are also vertically opposite angles and linear pairs are angle 1 and angle 5 these two angle 1 and angle 5 then angle 5 and angle 4 these only two linear pairs are there because others are not forming the linear pair because their addition is not 180 degree next is 11th number question is in the following figure is angle 1 adjacent to angle 2 give the reason we have to give the reason so here actually no these two angles are not adjacent the major reason is that major reason is that their vertices are not common their vertices are not common that means they have no common 
vertex they have no common vertex and another thing is that their addition is also not equals to 180 degree so they are not referred as a adjacent angles because common vertex is not there this is the major region common vertex is not there then find the values of angles x y z in each of the following so the, here first diagram is given we have to find out the values of x y and z now there are different ways by which you can find out the values first of all you can find out the value of x no problem then you can find out the value of y or you can also find out the value of z no problem any value you can find out by using that value you can find the remaining values so here the first of all we are going to find out the uh, value of x i am going to find out the value of x first of all and for that purpose i am going to use the vertically opposite angle concept and we know that any two vertically opposite angles are always equals to each other that means a single pair of vertically opposite angles is always going to be equal if one pair is acute then other will be obtuse if one pair is obtuse other will be acute like this but that pair particular pair they having the same majors so here x and 55 are vertically opposite angles so therefore x is equals to 55 degree directly we can write down so x is equals to 55 degree then here x and y are actually forming a linear pair adjacent angles they are adjacent angles and they are forming the linear pair linear pair means their addition is 180 degree that means they are supplementary to each other so therefore 55 degree plus y which is equals to 180 degree and by solving this equation <clears throat> we are going to get angle y is equals to 180 degree minus 55 degree here we are transposing this 55 degree to the RHS so it will becomes negative so that's why their subtraction is 125 degree so angle Y is 125 degree and again vertically opposite angles Y and Z are vertically opposite angles so therefore as the angle Y is 125 degree therefore angle Z is also 125 degree hence angle X is equals to 55 degree angle y and angle z are equals to 125 degree you can see that uh, the pair of y and z is obtuse and pair of x and 55 that is acute angle so if one pair is acute definitely other is going to be obtuse so this is the property of vertically opposite angles now next diagram is little bit different here actually two intersecting lines are given and along with them one additional line is given due to which five angles are formed and here in the first case only four angles are there still we can able to find out the values of x y and z again there are options you can find out the any value first either you can find out x or either you can find out y but again i am going to find out the value of x and for that purpose i am going to use this linear line so we know that for straight line the angle is 180 degree so therefore if we consider that straight line it is dividing in three parts first part is 25 degree second part is x and third part is 40 degree so therefore we are going to say that their addition is going to be 180 degree because that is a straight line so here 25 plus 40 65 degree and if we transpose this 65 to the right hand side then we are getting angle x is equals to 180 minus 65 which is 115 degree which is the value of x then next one is uh, you can find out the value of y you can find out the value of y with the concept of linear pair again y and this 40 degree are linear pairs that means their addition is 180 degree linear pair is always supplementary that's why addition is 180 degree so therefore y is equals to 140 degree by transposing 40 to other side we are getting y is equals to 140 degree and again y plus z they are y plus z they are linear pairs so again their addition is 180 degree so again from that z is equals to 40 degree or you can also say that other way is there 
40 degree and Z is the vertically opposite angles. They are going to be equal. So therefore value of Z is 40 degree. So therefore X is equals to 115 degree. Y is equals to 140 degree and Z is equals to 40 degree are the answers for the question number 12 sub question 2. Now next question 13 is fill in the blank type question is there only. So we are going to take fill in the blank directly. Some properties we have to use. So for complementary angles we know that the sum of their measures is 90 degree. So here first fill in the blank is 90 degree. Then if two angles are supplementary for supplementary the sum of their measure is always 180 degree. So second fill in the blank is 180 degree. Then two angles forming a linear pair two angles forming a linear pair are actually supplementary. Their addition is 180 degree. That means they are supplementary. Just we have seen that property in the previous example. Then if two adjacent angles are supplementary, then they are forming the linear pair. Actually, these two questions are vice versa questions, third and fourth. So only replaceable linear pair supplementary and supplementary are linear pair adjacent supplementary are linear pair. Then if uh, two lines, if two lines intersect at a point, then the vertically opposite angles are always if two lines intersect at a point, then the vertically opposite angles are always equal. Just we have seen that property also. And if two lines are intersect at a point and if one pair of vertically opposite angles are acute angles, then the other pair of vertically opposite angles are obtuse angle. They are obtuse angle. This is the 13 number question. Then next one is 14. In the adjoining figure, name the following pairs of angles. So we have to just name the pairs. So first is obtuse vertically opposite angles. Obtuse vertically opposite angles. Obtuse angle should be there. That means greater than 90 degree. So here, which pair are, is there? AOD and B. O C they are going to be uh, obtuse vertically opposite angles. Then adjacent complementary angles. Complementary means their addition should be 90 degree. Their addition should be 90 degree. So here A O B and A O E those are adjacent complementary angles. A O B and A O E they are adjacent complementary angles. Then next one is equal supplementary angles. And uh, equal supplementary angles, there is only one possibility that is right angles. And in this diagram, angle EOB and angle EOD, those are right angles. So that means they are equal supplementary angles. Then unequal supplementary angles. There are actually too many pairs, but here uh, one example I am giving angle EOA and angle EOC they are the unequal supplementary angle EOA and EOC they are unequal supplementary angles another pair you can take AOB and BOC that also you can take so those are remaining pairs and last one is adjacent angles that do not form a linear pair that means their addition is not 180 degree or they are not forming a straight line. So first pair is AOB, AOE. Then second one is AOE, EOD, EOD and COD. So here in the diagram you can see that AOB and next one is AOE. So they are not forming a uh, linear pair. Then AOE and EOD so they are also not forming the linear pair and last one is EOD and COD they are also not forming the linear pair so these are the questions for the sub, uh, sub questions for the question number 14 from exercise 5.1 so here exercise 5.1 is completed